You know what? The echo has been applied. We got a really nice, <laughs> kind of, very realistic sound here. Okay, so, <clears throat> so basically everything you need to make a realistic synth is done now. Now I'm just going to add, you know, some special effects, you know. Just for realism to make it sound like there's wind blowing, you can add white noise. To do this, create a new track, add a new audio track. Alright, just make this white noise as long as your synth is. And I think the synth is about two minutes long. I'll make the white noise 120 seconds long. You don't want it. You don't want it very loud though, because it'll overpower the synth, and you don't want that. Make the amplitude maybe 0.3, and then just make adjustments when it's in there. Yeah, it's a little too loud. You may not be able to hear it now, but when it's in the synth, it'll, you know, when when the synth is a video itself, you'd be able to hear it. Now we're going to create activation tones. Uh, so we'll just put about five seconds worth of silence before each tone. Do this for each tone. Silence generator, five seconds. Oh, and you also want to get rid of this thing, these black things. So now you kind of sound like, you know, the siren's not going off the second the clip starts. The wind's blowing. Oh, it's a nice day. Nothing's bad that's going to happen. Whoa, siren! So now we're going to create the activation tones. We're going to do this in DTMF. Add another audio track. And you can type in whatever code you want for your DTMF tone generator. Just in my protest against Pippa and Sopa, I'll write screw Sopa. I mean, I had a big report going and Wikipedia was screwed. <laughs> Not really. Okay, so since this is a long letter, it's, this is a long sentence. You want? I'm gonna make it last about three seconds, and we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, I think that sounds nice. So let's hear this thing. At this point, your synth is officially finished. Now, what you want to do is click export. Do not, whatever you do, do not click export selection if you've selected something. Because if this happens, you'll only export part of the siren. Click export. Hey, even my siren protests against SOPA. Just name the siren you want it to be, SD10, just save it to whatever folder you want, and your siren is done.
I don't have Windows Movie Maker, so I can't show you how to make a video with your synth. But all you really do is just find a picture of the siren you're emulating, import that in the Movie Maker, then import your sound. That's all there is to it. So, good luck synthing.